Roundtable Chats, episode 20. actually go on our website just to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because I wasn't going to say it no, again. I <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm tired. You just had sleep. I yeah, know. Well, I had four hours of sleep. I went to bed like 12. Uh, but yeah. Welcome to Bear Roundtable Chats. This is Mookie over here. I am Jay. And Seth. Just Seth. Just Seth. Just Seth. And three Caballeros. Three Amigos. Where the hell three is Three whatevers. Uh, he's at work. He's working right now. Yeah. Yeah, so he will probably... No, he will be. I will make him show up for episode 21, which we should make uh, a little bit crazy, I would think, because... It's, it's a, it's a bear now. It, yeah, exactly. Bear Chats turns 21. Yeah. I'm not even 21 yet. It's older than Seth. <laughs> so yeah, next tune in next week, uh, Friday. I think that's when we're going to record. Friday. Okay. Even yes. though it's not live, you don't have to tune in exactly Friday. You just wait Saturday morning until it's up and posted or whatever. Saturday afternoon. I'm like, uh... I love a friend that was gonna join us was probably expecting it to like pop up on our website somehow <laughs> magically. Live. <Yeah. laughs> right now. We should do something like that. Just have live? A live? Have a life. Right. Have yeah, a life. One of these days. If anyone out there, our listeners, all five of you, if any one of you wants to <laughs> donate a mi microphone, take a vote. Go right ahead. <laughs> I have a microphone. Actually, comment on we the website. We just use the rock band microphone. Well, we'll. we'll We'll think about that when it comes to that, so... Yeah, it, it's actually a USB that actually plugs in. I really? use it for, like, Skype. We'll see, but... How's everybody doing? Oh, well, I'm alright. We're gonna see if you guys got any good, uh, life stories to share before we delve into Today's the news. Father's Day. Yes, happy Father's Day to all you, uh... Fathers who are dads. actually fathers. Yes, all of y'all who, uh... Knocked up your baby's mamas. Unless you're like my dad's sperm donor. <clears throat> I mean, um. Wow. wow. So we're like yeah. not gonna go into that. <laughs> Actually, kind of. What? What? No. What are you talking about? Do I want to know? No. It's not that bad. Jeez. It's not that interesting. <laughs> You're not that interesting. Your face Whoa. is not that interesting. Your mom wasn't that interesting. Well, That's your why. Your ass is not that interesting. Had to leave so quickly. Okay. Anyways, um, hey. yes, happy Father's Day. Uh -huh. Um, none of us are fathers yet. Well, we got God. Papa Bear. Yeah, Papa Bear over yeah. there. And Papa Bear. But fuck Papa Bear. <laughs> yes, please do! <laughs> I don't want it anymore. Papa Bear is <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna run away. Uh, so whatever. <laughs> I was retarded. Yes, you are. But anyways, now I guess nothing. <laughs> nothing news happened with the uh, Seth world. Nothing new over there in J world. We have our own world. Well, what happened to your girlfriend? Dude, that was like that I know was weeks ago, dude. I understand that, but it was like nothing. Months ago, no, no, no new no. developments. She didn't like. No, ago. Jay, I want you back and all this. No, shit. no, 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 no. She she goes out with a guy a week after she leaves me. Oh, that bitch. Plus, she cheats on me. I was gonna let that slide, but what? but but then I was like, <laughs> God damn it, man! You were gonna let that slide. Don't let that slide. Don't yeah. let that slide. That's not that's not a slideable. But anyway, I'm I'm single as of like a over. month ago, a month and a half. It ago. has been that long, I guess. I I, I was wondering why you're bringing it up. It's, it's I don't know. Kind of old news. I guess, I guess you're looking for uh, more uh, of his uh, shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, she she's doing whatever in Colleen. I don't give a crap. What's her name? 
Samantha. We hate you. Yes. Samantha, we hate you. We all hate you. <laughs> You're never welcome on this show. The good thing is she came to hear this show. That's not a good thing. I want her to hear that. I know. <laughs> I hate you. She doesn't even have, like, a computer. Over the That's internet. hilarious. But one, one of these days... I hate you with all the fury of my pubes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so anyway, okay. it's a lot. We don't have a. No, it's very bushy. Um, um, since okay. I guess there's nothing interesting going on right now, let's just um, go ahead and start with news. Yeah. Let's get some news started. Jay, what do you got? What do I have? I didn't even see what you pulled down. Well, that's fun. Um, phase four: of Facebook systematic attack on Twitter. The everyone button. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Is it long? Meh. Hmm. Not really. Uh, okay, go ahead. If you were to distill Facebook down to its core magic, you'd have Twitter real-time news stream while with a really expensive to maintain photo site bolted on. Anyway. And while Twitter is, isn't exactly posing much of a current threat, Facebook isn't taking any chances. Just as Friendster and MySpace tried to buy ba Facebook into, into the early days, and nearly did, Facebook is now trying to take Twitter out. First, first was the acquisition attempt. Then came a focus on real-time content streams. Today... We saw phase three, a search engine for public status updates and other content that that a small percentage of users are able to test. And if you do that again, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> fucking kill you. <laughs> Just do it. Read the news, damn it. Whatever. Next week, we hear phase four of Facebook systematic attack on Twitter is scheduled for beta testing. The everyone button. Facebook currently has a complicated privacy setting, settings to let user control who sees. Bored. The... All right, summarize. Uh, oh. I, mean, I thought I could tolerate it, but no. What, no what, yeah, so, so, what's a, so what's a, pretty much, I guess, Facebook is trying to copy Twitter so that it eliminates Twitter as a competitor. I guess. Because I, if this, know. if you really look at it, their status updates look almost exactly like Twitter updates. Yeah, or Twitter looks like Facebook, because... I don't know, because... Twitter came out last week. Well, Facebook had status updates a long time ago, exactly. but their interface has changed to more, look more like Twitter after Twitter was established, so I don't know who's first at this point. Who but cares? Twitter's kind of retarded. A lot of the celebrities are pulling out, too. Cause yeah, no, like, and then the majority of the people who actually do follow Twitter... It's like a small 10% of actual users who are actually signed up to Twitter. And most of them are probably California-based people anyway. Yeah. And on, the, on that note of social network, networking sites going insane, uh, Facebook is, I mean, MySpace is about to cut off a lot of jobs. Yeah, they're going under. Uh, who? MySpace. Yeah, they they're uh, they're almost done. <laughs> well, there, there there's actually an article I think that we say. Yeah. Do you have that article? Or? MySpace is done yet. Big international layoffs come next. Yeah, they're doing layoffs. Um, I know they haven't had as many. There, we talked about it a few shows back about how many unique hits they're getting to their website, and it's actually gotten a lot lower now. And it's actually yeah. for first Facebook is more than MySpace, the first time ever. Yeah. And, and it's a, stayed that as a way uh, for. For quite a few months, for a few months now, I think. Hmm. But yeah, it, it, it's it's. Let's see. I have there, MySpace. There, I never get on it anymore. Thirty percent. I don't of, really check mine either. On June seventeenth, they announced that thirty percent uh, layoffs, and more than four hundred employees. Mm -hmm. um, they're breaking away with a lot of the international um, departments, I guess. Um, so because they I guess they weren't doing Facebook. as good uh, overseas, and Facebook was the first, uh, for last month was the first time that it had more hits than MySpace worldwide, but MySpace still had more unique hits in the U.S. than Facebook that did until this month. Hmm. So this is the first time Facebook U.S. 
has actually beaten MySpace US. And no, so not not only internationally is Facebook now more popular, it is now here in the US, which is I guess the biggest market. So now that yeah. they've taken over, it's MySpace is scrambling to MySpace keep up, is about much. to die. Mm. I hope so. It needs to. Why? What's it's, wrong with it? It sucks. Everything. Fishing. Um, Dude, scamming. it's true. Do you realize uh, how many like fake? Uh, it's so much easier to make <laughs> no, no. a fake uh, profile I'm, on MySpace I'm, than I'm gonna check my MySpace. MySpace. That's not and see how true many either now because Facebook. It's really easy to make a Facebook one because it used to be where Facebook wouldn't even let you do a uh, profile without having a college right. email. I'm checking my MySpace yeah. right now. I want to see how many fake people have either no. requested to be my friend or <laughs> sent me a fake email. Well, yeah, you probably have like 700 friends. Yeah. 500 of which you don't know who they no, are. No, no. Well, actually, I don't do that. I, I have, only have like 100 friends. What happened, what happened to my account, like, at one point, like someone just got into my account and started sending anonymous messages to everyone. Some like band really is trying bad to request my yeah, friend. Fishing. That's what fishing is. Hmm. Fi uh, have you never heard the term or what? I've heard the term. I just now I it's guess not, I didn't really not to be confused with the sport F I S H I N G, but P H P H I S I N G S H I N G. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think we actually read it. Right actually, time, you know what else is uh, the Facebook bans profile? That's relatively new too, right? Well, it's not banned. It's a. Um, it's just a fan page. It's just yeah. A it, fan, it, it's a regular like Facebook artists. fan page that an artist took over and, and oh, made it their own. And they had like a little. I got twenty six messages in my thing. The only serious? thing that Facebook doesn't have that MySpace does is their own uh, store flash based. Uh, no, they have Facebook has a store too. They have a classified section. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. They 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 um they don't have um their own. Well, actually, no, they do now. What video the video uploads? Yeah. MySpace has been a little bit more popular with that, but that's because True. it's been around longer. But yeah, you can video upload on Facebook now. MySpace it's not is very, dying. It's not very easy though. Yeah. I don't like Facebook videos. I do YouTube everything anyways. Yeah. My YouTube is just is that much easier boring. to do anyway. But anyways, MySpace was the original though. Yeah, but t the Tom, I had Facebook. Tom already Actually, sold no, MySpace. I think Facebook. Was he did. Around yeah, Tom sold it a I long time ago for a billion, so he didn't care. Who did he sell it to? I don't know. I thought MySpace was around the same time Facebook was. Just Facebook was a private social network. MySpace. Well, was the first Facebook, public. MySpace. Facebook I mean, used my, to be just universities is, and colleges. Yes, yeah, right. It's That's I'm saying it's been around just as long. It's just it's been more. Private. Private. At the beginning. It went public, what, maybe a year and a half ago? Yeah, not that it, not that long ago. 2005, I think it was. 2006? No. About 07, I would think. Actually, yeah, I think it was like more like 07. Because I had, I had I finally since, made yeah, they, an account, <laughs> like, back in 07. They hit the ground running ever since then because they have been <laughs> the stop the juggernaut until then. Until recently... Uh, th I don't know if there was, if I saved the article or if you have it, but what something about uh, Facebook being looked at very, uh, very sturdily. No, I don't, I don't think I have it here. I briefly read the article and it just pretty much said that uh, Facebook, you know how you see on Facebook a lot of uh, advertisements on the right hand side? Oh yeah, those And things. make make your own advertisements and they actually have oh, third party yeah. dub advertisements and stuff like that. They've said that um, one uh, advertiser, who it's like a small business owner, mm -hmm. who paid to have their ad on Facebook just to get uh, unique hits to their own website. Mm -hmm is actually saying that every time that he clicks on an ad on Facebook, it redirects him somewhere else. Interesting. So there's a bot either in Facebook or a third-party bot that's redirecting a lot of hits that he should be getting somewhere else. So someone else is getting He's stealing those. his clicks because he pays per click just so that he can have people come to his website mm. and it's not redirecting to his website. I wonder how much you get and per click. And he's not the only one this has happened to. This, uh, like, actually big companies who advertise on Facebook have happened to this too. So they're paying for the space on <laughs> Facebook to advertise and they're not getting the clicks. So it's like Facebook is stealing money. <laughs> hmm. 
So how much do you get a click? I wonder. They're it's looking like, into it to see if it's a if it's a fluke, yeah. if it's a bot, it's if it's like if it's bad sense. code or oh. what. But yeah, I mean, you get like a lot of clicks. True. This is very true. So we're talking. Maybe. They, they were saying that it was a ten to one ratio. For every ten clicks, one person would actually get to the real destination of what the advertisement is. Hmm. Imagine that times however many Facebook users there are. <laughs> Which There's is now probably close to like millions, uh, or eight million or something like that. It would. I would think it'd be a lot I, more. Than I'm that. not going to pull numbers out of my ass, and I'm not going to look at them right now because I'm too lazy. But let's just say that's quite a large number. Of Facebook users, where the advertisers are starting to get kind of pissed, but they're looking into it. It hasn't become anything official yet, so we'll see how it goes from there. Because yeah. If if a lot of advertisers start pulling out of Facebook, it could uh, it could be bad for Facebook because then that means they would stop making a profit. Yeah, and because uh, the uh, services are free. They were thinking about charging some services on Facebook, but what uh, the vanity names? At first, they were gonna tra they were gonna Make Facebook users pay for their vanity name. Which would be stupid. Mm -hmm. Right. MySpace already did that for free. That's not the point. That they were going to do it as a subscription service because they didn't feel like it. It, it was a big toss-up in Facebook. Like I guess some of them didn't want people to have vanity names. And some people did, but because some weird. people would be do something stupid like Facebook.com/cock. You know, they didn't want something like that happening all the time. Like, I, I know there's one where it's slash super horror or something like that. And it's actually, they try to filter out certain words that you couldn't use mm -hmm. as your uh, vanity name. But, you know, stupid ones still got through it. And I think that's what they were trying to avoid in the first place. They wanted to encourage people to use their real name. So, like, slash movie, right. you know? Um I don't know if you've ever, if you've even tried making your vanity name on Facebook. Uh, I haven't. I made a username. If if you uh, if you select it and the the first options that come up by default is since it knows your first and last name is your first and last name, and then very hidden underneath at the bottom right selection is make or, your own. So isn't that what 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 how you make the vanity name when you make the username? No, uh, vanity name or username are two different things. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. All right, anyways. Interesting. Let's see. How about... Oh, here we go. Texas Strip Club sues 14-year-old exotic dancer. What? A strip club that hired a 14-year-old as an exotic dancer is now suing the girl, saying the 7th grader swindled them into breaking state law. The San Antonio teen allegedly exposed her breasts while working at the Cheetah Club in Corpus Christi, a violation of state law. Alan Yaffe, the club's attorney, said the club didn't know the girl was a minor. She came into the club with 6-inch stiletto heels and a miniskirt and looked just like a model from Miss America's contest. Oh my god. Yaffe said. Yaffe also disputed the sequence of events that authorities say brought this 14 year old girl to Cheetah Club in the first place, where she exposed her breasts, a violation of state law. I, they keep stating that. By the way, it's a violation of state law to expose your breasts. A 14 year old. Not a 14 year old. Yes, I can. It no should be a state law for you. Up there. <laughs> police says, uh, police say Leslie Campbell, 48, kidnapped a teenager in San Antonio in March, took her to Corpus Christi, sexually assaulted her over the course of a week, gave her a false identification card, and forced her to strip at the club. Police say the girl, who has not been identified, escaped from Campbell's home and has been reunited with her parents in San Antonio. Campbell was arrested and remains in Nueces County Jail on charges of aggravated ass sexual assault and aggravated kidna kidnapping. Blech. Our jail and entertainment incorporated, however, which is doing business as Cheetah Club, according to tax records, filed the lawsuit last week. The suit seeks unspecified damages from Campbell, the girl, and her parents, as well as a declaration from a judge that it did not intend to hire a minor. We're the victims here. 
Yaffe said. Whatever. Authorities also arrested <laughs> Jeffrey Sean Martinez, a manager at the club, on charges of employment harmful to a minor and sexual performance of a child. He was released on bail. Martinez's attorney, Fred Jimenez, said his client is not guilty. A minor walked in there with a fake ID and presented herself to be a 22-year-old person, Jimenez said. She looks very mature. Texas Alcohol Beverage Commission Sergeant John Mann disagreed. I've seen this young lady's picture and I assume, I assure you she is a 14-year-old 7th grader, Mann said. I personally think any reasonable and prudent person could tell you that this is an underage girl. Man said he expects his agency to take legal action against the club. Fail. Did I want to see a picture because I want to see how this 14-year-old looked to be so mature in the first place. Yeah, I, I would too. Some 14-year-olds some look like freaking 20-something. Yeah. Well, I, I take that back. person works where I work. Um, I thought she was like 21 or something. She's actually 15. Mm -hmm. Like, holy... It's, it's pretty, to work it's pretty common. Um, tell that to her and the friend that works on works with her as well. Like, is this Copy Corner? Or? Yeah. I'm sorry. Is I'm supposed to not name any business name. Think, oh, fuck. I don't fudge. think it's illegal. Who cares? If, uh, if there's... Some kind of like no. I, I think if you have if you have like a, yeah no it, it, if you have like a parent, it's not hardship because that's if you drive under sixteen. Well, hardship also allows you to work. Really, but that's yeah. Hardship is. What's hardship? It's like if your, if parents, your parents are like sick or are un incapable of working. No, and, not necessarily. You can get a hardship if. Uh, if you're incapable of getting in, of getting transportation. Oh okay. No now oh yeah now I think I know why because. My cousin had a hardship, and there's nothing wrong with his mom, but she's a single mother. So I guess since it's only one parent, it's harder to provide transportation for him, so he yeah, was able to get a hardship. Yeah, and yeah. it depends, like, it basically, you can get your license under 16, like, mm. I think it's 14, if you have, like, can't I thought, get a ride or whatever. I thought you could get a license at 15 if you'd taken, like, a driver's course. Yeah, you have to take a course, and you have to go through... You know, the court to right. get a hardship license. It's not like but yeah, it, it, grab it, one. that is exactly what it, that is. It's called a hardship license. So, mm -hmm. um, so I guess yeah, they but may have that. There's still also who knows if they actually did have that or not. Uh, the only way I got away with it whenever I was 15 was that they paid me cash. They didn't actually put me on payroll, so that way they didn't have to. I uh, claim it and pay taxes and all See, that. I don't you can stuff, work. Though. I think you can work for your parents. See, we don't. We don't have like no, direct I, deposit. I, I was working at a fast food joint. <laughs> yeah, you can. There is something like because I know there's some some way. I know it's you can't work more than twenty hours. I can't even remember. I don't even remember. Yeah, I, we don't even get paid through direct deposit. We get paid by what checks they actually. Have to wait for. Just get on the last nerve. Anyways, anyway, fourth year <clears throat> stripper. I wish I was there. <laughs> Sounds like Pedo Bear needs to be Bear there. there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of Pedo Bear, yeah, nicely done. He's now a member of the Bear Chats officially. Yes, he's in my car right now. <laughs> it's it's, it's so hot in there. I what know. the hell? Get him out of there, God. I, I took the window down a little bit. He likes being hot. <laughs> and bothered. <laughs> I told, uh, yes. I told Johanna what pedo bear is. Who the hell's when? Johanna? Today? Today? Today uh, during lunch. I was like, he's a pedophile bear. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... What'd she say? She was... Why would you like the pedophile bear? I go... <laughs> I said, you like him or you don't. <laughs> but... Now she probably thinks that you and I are like really, really weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so who is Johanna? This is another person from work, but oh, um, no, I, I think Julian because I brought it to work that night that I got it, and Johanna was there too. I need to get one. Uh, she um, <laughs> she was like, oh, that's a cute bear, and I was like, I know. 
Why do you have one? Probably and she like, was like, why do you have a stuffed animal? That's kind of weird. Are you, like, really old? And I'm like, that's not the point. This oh. bear is fucking awesome. And Julian started laughing as soon as he saw it. So <laughs> right before I left, he was like, get Pedo Bear out of here. And she was like, Pedo? What? Pedo. Pedo. <laughs> this, so, is, this is what I want. <laughs> nice. So... <laughs> The, uh, what is that? Explosive. I think it's Cassie asked what it was, and he explained to Cassie what it was with Johanna there. So I don't. How do you explain what pedal bear is? It's like explaining Domo couldn't. It's what? it's it's an internet meme, and if you don't get internet <laughs> memes, it's really hard to explain in real life. Domo. See, I'm not even gonna explain. Domo. <laughs> Arigato, Mister. Go ahead. Uh, what do you got? Let's see. Amateur high-profile DUI booking in Glad. Glastonbury con tape. Huh? Shut up. Oh, oh, is you gotta hear this one. A town councilwoman arrested earlier this month on DUI charges warned police that as they were booking her that she was a member of the town council and that she approved her she approved their salaries. Surveillance video obtained from from the police department shows Barbara C. Wagner, age 59, of 11 Lakeshore trial, visibly upset and frustrated as she was being interviewed in the police station after her arrest on June 2nd. Uh. <laughs> I like that. Nice. Um, during the processing, Police asked Wagner several times whether she'll take a breathalyzer test. Wagner does not answer, but instead takes to call her husband and and to go home. She looks annoyed when booking officer asks if she needs to vomit and slides a wastebasket next to her. Let's see. I am a member of the Glastonbury Town Council and I approve your salaries West Wagner says in other words she's high profile and she thinks she's all she was trying to get away with driving drunk Mm -hmm. and trying to threaten I guess the cops with their jobs and salaries you pay me in the rent she's a stupid bitch she is a stupid bitch what you got something do yeah, you? Yeah, I pulled up some. I pulled up some. Yeah, I actually have my cassette. Cool. Has news. It's, wow. It's not like crazy exciting. interesting, but it's all right. It's interesting. Well, go ahead. I'm I'm excited to see what you may think is interesting. Let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> Police nab man driving on I five in reverse. Huh. Yeah, I had one of those. Yeah. Did you Did you see that? Story? Um. No, but go ahead. Police arrest a driver Thursday night who was cruising along Interstate 5 in reverse. The 41-year-old man drove at least three miles backward on Interstate 5 before arre- the, his arrest around 8.30 p.m. Thursday, Colwitz County Sheriff Deputy Robert Cruiser said, well, Police said they saw the man laughing as they approached the vehicle, <laughs> which came to a stop in the middle of three northbound lanes at milepost 55. Blah 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 blah. No, I, I like the. Anyways, I, I found the, the the headline that I found about it. Man arrested about after driving three miles on interstate in reverse. He will be evaluated for possible mental problems because he's Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's Canadian. Canadian. Uh, and apparently, he wouldn't. He was a rental car, and he wouldn't roll down the window. So the police had to break the window open and and drag him out. Nice. And the dude's just cracking up and. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine, like, he, he just wrote, well, I'm, well, I'm an idiot. I, I have more stories, too. Okay. I have another short story. We'll, we'll get to you here in a second. Fucking shit. Alright. <laughs> I'm Let's on fucking shit? Huh? What about fucking shit? Tom Tom's Homer Simpson voice skin is le- just like the real thing, without no. the duffs. Well, let's be frank. The Knight Rider GPS, while brilliant, is a bit of a stretch. Kids. Isn't it a little sad to be living out your boyhood fantasies of excitement and danger vicariously 
behind the wheel of your 92 Buick Roadmaster station wagon. On the other hand, perhaps you're ready to put away your childhood dreams and hit the road in a manner more befitting of your average schlub. The official Homer Simpson voice skin for the TomTom Tom GPS features the voice of the iconic cartoon dad, including such gems as, Take the third right. We might find an ice cream truck. Mmm, ice cream. <laughs> Sight? We bet you are. Price at twelve ninety five. Check out an audio sample and hit the read link to pick it up for yourself. And here's the sample right now. Hold on. It is buffering. <gasps> you have reached your destination. And you can hold your head up high because you are a genius. <laughs> you know what? The road, and, turn left. And what then is it? Take the motorway. <laughs> it just talks? <laughs> well, have you ever heard voice by voice navigation? Yes. Like mine, for You're, example. So it's a GPS? It, it's, it, it's a top Turn right now. The thing is, you can actually change the voice to Homer's voice. There's like a... It's like an upgrade, I guess. Oh. Or, or like or, a, a plug-in. A, a plug-in, yeah, that you just add to the and, device, and, and it has Homer <laughs> voice instead of the normal So you can voice. actually put it in yours. Or no. No, because it's 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 an application. It's a TomTom-specific -tom application. TomTom so -tom bought the rights for using Homer Simpson's voice and is now distributing it, so you can use it on your TomTom -tom now. So Tom. how, much, how much is it, Tom? How much is a TomTom? Because -tom? I want it. Well, I want it. Anywhere between, I, I think anywhere between two to four hundred, depending on like the, their model. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure this works on all models, I guess. I want. I want Homer Simpson to guide me to my but, destination. And here's what a lot of people were asking: is now there's a TomTom -tom application for the iPhone. Mm-hmm. So now you have the TomTom -tom software on your iPhone with voice oh. uh, navigation. Will this? App work on the iPhone version of it. So you can actually mm -hmm. have a GPS on your iPhone. We can yeah. or Tom, iPod Touch probably. Tom, no, yeah. well, maybe not. Well, no, 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 no. Just the new iPhone. I wish. Because I think the the newest one also has an electronic compass in it. Yes. On top of the GPS iPhone 3GS and 3G. Has has a compass yeah, app so and in Google Maps. It, Tom Tom has been trying to release their compass. own uh, app through the iPhone store for a while now, but. Uh, up until now, at this point, has Apple accepted it, and I guess now because it's capable of pulling that off, they pretty need, much. They need. A, they're going to start doing a lot of them. They already have actually. They have their own. There's actually a navigation category in the App Store. Yeah. For, so. Like, like you can get. Um, well, of course, Google has its own, but it's not. I don't think it's Voice. Um. And there's a couple of other ones that, that wanted to release their own instead of using the iPhone version of it, but yeah. But I'd, I mean, like, voices, do they have any new voices? No, they, they would be de default. They wouldn't be, like, weird voices. This is the first time ever that, That's like, what I'm saying. Now, weird voices now are coming out. Now they're put Bender. Bender would be awesome, or Peter from Family Guy. <laughs> or Stewie. Yeah. Stewie would be pretty funny. Right. Val driver. What do you got? Uh, let's see. You with the iPod. Do a short story. Girl wakes up with 53 unwanted tattoos. Yes, I've seen this one. I'll pull up the picture. Go ahead. Okay. Um, a teenage girl is suing her tattooist. She claims tattooed 56 stars on her face after she asked for three. The girl is suing for over fifteen thousand dollars in damages for graffiti that ruined my life after her oh, tattoo oh, artist so allegedly nice. thought nothing of giving her eighteen times the tattoo she requested. Uh, let's see. The man is responsible for the graffiti. <laughs> himself the covered in tattoos and yeah. piercings. And since they only comply with her instructions, and and at the reasonable price of ninety dollars. Give me a second. I maintain that she absolutely agreed that I tattooed those fifty-six stars on the left side of her face. He said, "A witness to the affair confirms the tattoo's statement." The girl is most upset, upset by the tattoos themselves. It is horrible for me. I cannot go out on the street 
I am in I am so embarrassed. I just look horrible. I having no desire to leave a customer unsatisfied, the tattooist agreed to pay for half of the cost of laser removal surgery, though this will still leave the girl with white facial scars on the tattooed areas. Is that freaky looking guy? That is it he's pretty messed up. Yeah. <laughs> and he's wearing glasses. <laughs> and a polo shirt. <laughs> Really the girl insists for full co for the full car so cost for the him. removal, despite the tattooist claiming she had she was satisfied with the service until she went home to her father and boyfriend. They're saying things now like I doped her or hypnotized her. What rubbish! Rubbish. Hmm. Although the tattooist serves customers at a tattoo parlor in. Belgium. Bard! What? So, so, I guess it just pretty much, uh, there was a miscommunication because they speak yeah. different languages. Because of that, he's not admitting fault, but he's willing to pay half for the tattoo removal. And what is he? She's suing because she wants him to pay for full because she said that he understood fully well what she wanted. And still went overboard with the tattoo. So he wanted, he wanted, says he has a witness who said that she agreed to actually fifty six stars. She wanted. Hmm. So she, why did she want to star in her face anyway? She I, in the first she, place, because she's a stupid bitch. Exactly. Go ahead, your turn. Teenagers don't know. It. All right. Indiana lawyer wakes up in trash can after night of drinking. Alright, sounds like fun. It's a really short one. <laughs> Wilder says he was with his friends for dinner and drinks in nearby Louisville, Kentucky on Tuesday night, but was driven home in a client's limousine and remembers little of what happened after that. A neighbor found Wilder in a trash can early Wednesday and called police who helped Wilder home. They said basically there's no crime, it's just this lawyer woke up in a trash can. Hard hitting news in Kentucky, folks. Oh, nice. It's kind of it actually has a picture. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's funnier looking than yeah, it actually is. listening. <laughs> Man, I wish our listeners can see this. <laughs> That's Tesla. Hilarious. Let's see. The air down there. The hell is that? June 18th. Nabbed yesterday for indecent exposure, a Memphis man offered cops a unique explanation for his alleged criminal behavior. Augustus Hudgens, 41, was arrested after witnesses reported seeing him masturbating on the bench in Court Square, according to the police affidavit. When questioned by cops, Hudgens denied fondling himself, explaining instead that he was giving his penis some air. Despite wow. the claim, Hudgens was booked on the Shelby County Jail, where the mugshot at the right was snapped. And that's a pretty looking man. <laughs> That's actually kind of disturbing. <laughs> that guy was found on a bench just masturbating. Just just whacking it off. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't see the big deal. Looks like Jay in his later years. He does. You want to come look? What? It does. <laughs> Much Ow, son of a bitch. <laughs> He just hit your head on the, the ceiling lamp. It's in the middle of the table. <laughs> oh, you ass. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't ever whip out your penis on the chats. I don't care how drunk you are. You haven't gotten me drunk yet. You're going to be officially kicked out of that. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. What? Another short story. Fine. <laughs> what the No, go ahead. <laughs> We need, I guess, a, a Julian, uh... S. Just a, a, a Julian, a Julian-esque, uh, uh, interruption. Just random? Yeah, just random. Just some weird, random, uh... Shit. Uh, soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he picks, like, the re most random crap that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about, and he just mm -hmm. plays it. <laughs> um, well, texting driver takes wild ride. 
That, that would have been an opportunity yeah, to put something ready. Right oh, okay. Oh, that's my seesaw! <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god! Oh, my god. That's the carry top one, right? Yeah. so fucking funny! <laughs> you are so. God damn you! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Okay, right. you know what? Here, here, just do it. Keep it. Uh. A Harpswell man, Harpswell man, who allegedly text messaging while driving on Route 196 Sunday morning took an unexpected off-road detour that left him with minor injuries, according to police. What, what was the headline again? What? The headline of the article. Texting driver takes wild ride? No, next. Fine. Wait, what did he hit? What? I don't know. Because it'd be funnier. What? Utility pole. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, next. Fine. Robber apparently confused over loot at Black Diamond Company. I don't get it. Guys, says. Uh, Shut up! Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're scared to scare the shit out of me. That was pretty funny. Well, we'll you skip that him? story anyway. Alright. Yeah, I know. I jumped a little bit. <laughs> anyway. A lot of it. Anyway, Dr. Morano resigns. Sum it up, Dr. Morano's a fucking liar. What? Oh, the, oh, the president of A&M. Yeah. Or I should say, the ex-president of A&M. Yeah. Why is she a liar? Well, a lot of people were supporting her, and apparently you're being the only bitch that's like, oh, she's a bitch. <laughs> Liar. She is a bitch. What, what happened? What? Like, she, she, like, completely overhauled all the people at the Board of Regents, like, and did some other shady bullshit. That, like, almost no one approved of. You're like, what the hell? Apparently no one knows about it, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you don't go to A&M. Okay, whatever, but... And then she but died. I'm gay! I don't like vaginas! <laughs> what kind of... I like what that. The... <laughs> it was just random. I don't even want to see it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. Uh, this is getting a little fine. ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's already happened. No one cares. I think the the weird looking guy with the bow ties from Galveston is the intern president right now. I forgot his name. I'm only finding really short ones. So, man oh, attacked in Oklahoma one. City for a bologna sandwich. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Police say 24. It's fake old. though. It, oh, is it fake? Yeah, go ahead. And I'm not gonna say it. it, it well, it's no, he, he, I think he was arrested for. Calling the cops for something as stupid as that, and the story turned out not to be even real. Oh, okay. That he even made, he made it made up the fact that someone stole the sandwich. You have a charge? It's retarded. Um. Yeah. Mine's about to die. The fake story is he was eating a bologna sandwich when a man began staring at him. Then he got punched in the mouth, and he has swollen lips. <laughs> they said the value of the sandwich was seventy six cents. Wow, Police that's. Have sad. not found the attack. <laughs> but he, he didn't have swollen lips. <laughs> he never knew what hit him. And he was covered in blood. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do I got? Oh. Oh yeah, that's this is interesting. A lot of my friends in San Francisco would like this. What? President Obama to extend benefits to same-sex partners of federal employees. Well, there's no outlet, so Jay took him. No, I didn't. Isn't that yeah. the, what he was? Oh. Okay. That's not mine. That isn't? Nope. Well, what the hell is that? this? It's it's a computer charger, but it's not mine. Uh, it, why do you have a random computer charger? My roommate left it. Oh, uh, yeah. So, well, this is mine. Plug that in, Jay. Sure. Now! ABC News has learned that tomorrow President Obama will sign a presidential memorandum. Memorandum. Hold on. Memorandum. I, I can get this. <laughs> Memories. Wait, no, no, no. Memorandum. <laughs> yes, he finally got it. Extending benefits to the same sex partners of gay and lesbian federal employees. 
The move was long planned, sources say, though it comes at a time that gay and lesbian supporters of the president are expressing anger and disappointment with his inaction on rescinding Don't Ask, Don't Tell, his opposition to same-sex marriage, and his support for anti-same-sex marriage defense of marriage act in a legal brief that compared same-sex unions to incestuous ones. Mm. That's it. Oh. Okay. Since I don't have What's any sound on? effects. Pretty much he's signing an executive order to grant domestic benefits to same-sex couples in the government who work I don't for federal that. orders. So people who are married... Uh, a guy and a guy who are married are now getting marriage benefits that other gay couples wouldn't normally get, and just because they're, I guess, federal employees. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that interesting? But this is going to be like the first federally mandated uh, same-sex marriage law. So, Jay, you're next. So wait, okay, I'm but, trying to remember something. Is it true, did they legalize marijuana use in California? I think about it. I don't know if it's actually passed or not. Hold on. I shall look it up. But Jay, while I look it up, you do the next story. Do an interesting one. Okay, um... Okay, this, this picture here, um... And of course, people online can't see it. It's basically... It, you, know how, you know the vanity names that we were talking about earlier? For Facebook, okay. So apparently, one a person on Facebook took advantage of this. The guy's name is Mike Pence, and what he did was he he used the vanity name. So instead of Facebook.com slash Mike Pence, he did Facebook.com slash Ob Fernandez. Oh yeah, I saw, oh, that. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what a lot of people are doing. It's like they're. And as a joke, they're stealing their friend's name, and their friends are like, "What the fuck, dude? Yeah, why are you seriously? Why are you stealing my name, dude?" Yeah, he. No, I'm so gonna unfriend you on my Facebook profile, dick. On <laughs> worst, no, no. On <laughs> Mike Pence's wall, it says, uh, "Obi says, are you fucking serious? Yeah, this is yeah. some fucking bullshit, dude. <laughs> Complete I fucking bullshit. I, I like your official tone. Unforgivable." <laughs> uh, from what I'm understanding, they are there's a lot of bills and uh, people asking for it to be uh, legalized, and it, the the California government is seriously considering it, but I don't think it has been passed yet. And pretty much, it's just gonna it's gonna be a less stringent um, law about medical marijuana, not about marijuana in general, and around marijuana use in general. Oh, I thought medical marijuana was already used. It is. I think it's just gonna like get make it easier to get it. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. We're, we're talking about potholes right now. Really? It's not potholes you need to worry about. It's potheads. <laughs> I know what these people are capable. Of. <laughs> <laughs> a food mm -hmm. fight resulted in ten arrests. A campus lockdown. Witnesses say they planned it like an armed insurgents. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it's really retarded because now, you know, stupid things that you guys did in high school and things like that, you know, like putting a smoke bomb inside the men's locker, or maybe I don't know who just said oh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, food fights, uh, mm -hmm. things like that are now considered by police if they get involved as terrorist acts. They Holy are. shit. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> New York, June 13th, the officials at New York City High School say that there isn't much permanent damage after a raging food fight resulted in 10 arrests and a campus lockdown. Most of the students busted at Richmond Hills High in Queens were charged with criminal mischief uh, excuse me, and disorderly conduct in the wake Herpes of Friday's love. fracas that started with eggs flying in the hallway and eventually spread to the cafeteria. Why were there eggs in the hallway in the first place? Well, I don't know. They threw rice, barbecue sauce, flour, baby powder, what? Silly string, shaving cream, and everything you could imagine. Software witness Jose Dominguez, 16, told the New York Daily News. 
The newspaper said Saturday that while the mess had been cleaned up, disciplinary action was pending against the participants. The incident stemmed from the school's annual senior prank day, which witnesses said was advertised on the internet and even included pre-event intelligence work to determine which areas would not have security guards present when the event kicked off at 10 a.m. Eastern. They planned it like ardent insurgents, observed 19-year-old Stephen Williams. A 19-year-old knows what insurgents are? I guess so. The chaos was apparently too much for the school staff. They called the police and were ordered a lockdown that kept students confined in their classrooms for more than an hour. That's retarded. We would have just gotten spankings back then today. Spankings? Spankings. Spankings. Jack, go ahead. Uh, Six Flags sees Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Oh, What? Six, Six Flags? Yeah, Six Flags. <clears throat> In other words, you might lose Astroworld. I mean, not Astroworld. Six Flags? Astroworld? Astroworld. Remember? I the know Houston what Astroworld is. You said Astroworld. I was like, no. what? In related news, new kids on the block blame lousy ticket sales on the recession. Ha ha ha! Go ahead. Okay. That's basically what it is. I mean, that was it, yeah, I mean, the, the whole story is just, like, them filing for chapter because I guess they're not getting enough sales. I guess. Yeah. In a more funny story, man allegedly breaks into home, licks 11-year-old, 11-year-old boy's ba uh, belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Read it! That's the most interesting thing that came out of your mouth today. Go! <laughs> We have the official Creep of the Week story to brighten your gloomy Wednesday morning. An Inver, <laughs> an Inver Grove Heights man faces several fel felony char uh, charges after he allegedly entered a neighbor's home and licked the 11-year-old boy's <laughs> belly button at knife point. What? <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> the boy told police that James Albert's Silbert Nagle, age 41, lived down the street from the home from the home he lives in with his mother. Um, he had come by earlier in the day to use the phone and then and then returned a couple of items, uh, returned a couple of times and asked if the boy could walk his do his dog. After walking the dog, the boy came home and took a shower. Cybernagle then allegedly entered the home while the boy was showering and he knocked on a bathroom door asking if he could use the phone again. Mm -hmm. he, he asked the boy to open the door and then pulled out a knife and told the boy to take his towel off. When he refused, Cybernagle licked Cibber. his be belly button. Cybernagle? Silver nagel. <laughs> um, anyway, the boy asked if he could put his clothes on, and the suspect followed him into his room. So the true. boy was able to escape to a neighbor's house and call police. Authorities Ooh. found Silver Nagel in the home and arrested him. Mm. Guess who? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so what? Uh, what's Excellent! Pet, so pet, Petal Bear broke into this house and yes, this is basically. What? Why? <laughs> I want to know that too! Where are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just wondering. <laughs> that's a pretty... That's pretty Where's good. the paper boy? Well, where the newspaper boy was. Mm. <laughs> I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. All right, I'm done with that. <laughs> no more. It's, it's no more. more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Was that the 11 year old kid? <laughs> 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 all right, so, all right, you got any news? <laughs> Are you pretty much dead? Uh, I, well, let's see. <laughs> Oh shit! I can. Um. Um. Let me look. All right, while you're looking, I'll do one. Talk about. Go ahead. 
Lobster, wine, and sleep follow Maine. Uh, Fuck. Or in another headline, break into restaurants, stuff pockets with cash, eat the better part of 11 lobsters, wash it all down with white wine, fall asleep on the bench, go to jail. Ta-da. <laughs> in Portland, Maine, a man suspected of breaking into Maine restaurant will have to get used to jailhouse food for... After workers at the eatery discovered lobsters and wine missing, and the suspect asleep on a bench, police say Paul Brunel, 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 I don't know, broke into the Portland Lobster Company through the, a rear window and stuffed his pockets with cash before chowing down on the better part of eleven prepared lobsters worth about three hundred dollars. He washed it all down with a white wine. The Portland Press Herald reports. Brunel also left a refrigerator open, causing about 1,000 worth of food to be thrown away. Brunel, who was already out of on bail, was being held Friday in the Cumberland County Jail. He couldn't be reached for comment. It would suck if he was allergic to shellfish. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> Trying to commit suicide? What? I'm waiting what? on you. What Come on! Do. No, you got any news? I, I, I really don't. Oh, okay. All right. What uh, about you? I have no more news. That's it? Yeah! Seriously? That's all you printed? Yeah. What time is it in? I, I have oh. le- a lesson. Look, almost time. I have a well, lesson. A lesson? Um, yeah, listen. By lesson. Listen to the lesson. I'm listening I to I said get away from me! I'm completely lost! I hit rock bottom. Wait. Easy, easy. Whoa, you gotta calm down there, Chuck. I hurt people. I'm a dick. Oh, being a dick ain't so bad. See, there's three kinds of people. Dicks, pussies, and assholes. Pussies think everyone can get along, and dicks just want to fuck all the time without thinking it through. But then you got your assholes, Chuck. And all the assholes want us to shit all over everything. <laughs> so pussies may get mad at dicks once in a while because pussies get fucked by dicks. But dicks also fuck assholes. <laughs> and if they didn't fuck the assholes, you know what you'd get? You'd get your dick and your pussy all covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I've, I've, heard, I've heard that one before. <laughs> There's, um, the only other thing I have is like a YouTube video of Weird Al Yankovic's new song, Craigslist? No. I have heard that song. Have you? Sex balls. I have not heard this. Song. It's retarded. Is it? I have a better song. No, I'm not going. What? Are, it's not a radio oh, show. This is retarded. Uh, Bruno, uh, yes. the new movie that's coming out. The guy who did the. the What's Bruno? I haven't heard of him. The what? guy who did. Um, what was it? One of those? Oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Deuce Big Little Melody. No. Uh, okay. Borat. That's yeah, the guy who did Borat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's coming out with a movie called Bruno. Bruno was Bruno. reshot Bruno. to place to placate gay activists. If you're a Muslim or a Kazakh- Kazakhstan, Kiz- Kazakhstani who hated the way Borat stereotyped your people, then prepare to get upset all over again. <laughs> it seems that even though Sasha Baron Cohen wasn't the least bit afraid of you, he's scared to death of gay people, apparently. He's a homophobe. No, it's not that. <laughs> He's scared of uh, insulting them. He doesn't oh. want to incur their wrath. Uh, if you're uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, it seemed that even though Sasha Baron, blah, 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 when Muslims bitched and complained about Borat, when people sued, and when civil rights groups of all type threatened to protest, when Kazakh. Officials pissed and moaned about the way they were being portrayed. Sasha Baron Cohen in the 20th Century Fox simply gave them the middle finger and then released a horribly offensive movie anyway. Damn. They were rewarded with huge box office numbers and critical praise. It was a rare shining moment for his free speech in this country. Enter Bruno, which by all accounts is at the least just as offensive as Borat and we hope <laughs> just as funny. Though by the time we see it, the film may be may be less funny, or at Probably least edited. it won't be the movie Cohen and his team originally intended. Because the rap, I guess, this website or whatever, 
is reporting that Cohen was conducted significant reshoots to Bruno after gay audiences at sneak peek showings told him that he had crossed over the line. Apparently those reshoots happened this spring and included an ending shot with cooperation from Elton John, whose presence will undoubtedly take care of quite a lot of placating. Word is, they've shoehorned in some sort of pro-gay marriage message along with Sir Elton. Meanwhile, people who haven't seen the movie are already overreacting, in spite of the reshoots. It's being compared to a white actor appearance in blackface, which seemed to work out pretty well for Robert Downey Jr. Maybe Sasha Baron Cohen will win an Oscar. <laughs> Probably. At issue is whether this is a satire or simply getting laughs at the expense of gay stereotypes, I guess. Frankly, I had no idea that, Sa that Cohen cared what people thought. He certainly didn't when he made Borat, but I guess gay people have a lot more powerful lobbying groups. Uh, I haven't seen the movie and neither have any of you, so we have no way to know what the film's content is like. Maybe you have a point, maybe he really does go too far, who knows. Again, I thought that the whole point of his movies was crossing the line. Warat crossed the line at least once every 60 seconds. <laughs> it's Kazakhs, nice. though, who should be really pissed here. Why do gay people get their way when Cohen was allowed to take a big dump on their entire country? <laughs> if I were a Kazakhstan, I'd declare war in San Francisco right now, assuming they haven't already. They are Kazakhs, after all. I have a very big uh, testicles. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? It's Borat. He has a very big uh, testicles. <laughs> what, what, what is he saying? You have very big <laughs> testicles. Oh, very big no. testicles. Sexy time. <laughs> That's nice. That's probably on there, isn't it? You are a real man. High five. <laughs> my name is Borat. My, uh, actually, my sister he has a movie touch. <laughs> You want what? Do you want to touch? No. Anyway. It's a sting song. Yeah. He is a Freddie Mercury homosexual. This is the same guy who did like Ali G. Nice! Yeah, it's the same. Okay. No. What was Ali no. G about? No. Hmm? Ali G yes. is like an interview. Yes. Yes. Like yes. Yes. Similar yes, to yes, the yes, Colbert Report yes. or John Why? Stewart, but even yes. more retarded and <laughs> yes. Yes. bad. Yes, yes, What the hell's with all the Why? yeses? I live in a car. <laughs> okay. I like this. Uh, my wife is uh, very scared from a man with a chocolate face. My sister actually has a copy of <laughs> Borat on DVD. Owns Borat. I haven't seen it yet, but I want to. In the US and they, very rich people yeah, like to drink wine. I got a curse. It is like a Kazakh. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's a million coins. <laughs> now, can you stop it? <laughs> Damn it, why? I need to listen to baby parts. parts? Uh, it was a uh, subliminal message. I'm a robot. I'm a robot. I don't even know what this is. We should just end it like this. <laughs> yes. I'm not even playing it anymore. Just keep going on its own. <laughs> it's really annoying. Yeah, no. Exactly. We'll leave on this note. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for listening. Yeah. If we haven't killed your ears already. You know what? I think we lost every listener. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This episode sucks. <laughs> wait till our 21st one when we get Jay wasted. <laughs> Holy shit. Now they're going to dare them. See you guys later. <laughs> bye bye. Good. Bing bang bang ding dang 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 dang